Have you ever wondered if there's a link between what you eat and your risk of developing cancer? It's a question that's been on the minds of scientists and health enthusiasts for decades. The answer, it turns out, is a resounding yes. Numerous studies have shown that our diet plays a significant role in our overall health, and more specifically, in our odds of developing cancer. Consider this, every bite we take is a decision, a step towards health or away from it. Our bodies are complex machines and the fuel we choose to put into them can either support their function or hinder it. The science is clear, there's a definite correlation between our food choices and our cancer risk. But don't worry, it's not all doom and gloom. Understanding this correlation gives us power. Power to make healthier choices, to potentially alter our risk and to take control of our health. So let's dive deeper and discover how our daily food choices can influence our cancer risk. So how exactly does our diet influence our risk of cancer? Let's dive in and unravel the mystery. First, let's talk about carcinogens. Carcinogens are substances that can lead to cancer. Picture them as little villains that sneak into your body and start causing chaos. Certain foods, especially those processed, charred, or smoked, contain these carcinogens. When we consume these foods, we're essentially inviting these villains into our bodies. Now let's move on to inflammation. You can think of inflammation as a fire in your body. A little fire can be useful. It's your body's way of fighting off injuries or infections. But when this fire becomes a raging inferno due to a poor diet, high in sugars and unhealthy fats, it can lead to a host of problems including cancer. This is because chronic inflammation can cause normal cells to transform into cancer cells. But don't worry, it's not all doom and gloom. Just as there are villains, there are heroes too. Enter antioxidants. These are the superheroes of the food world. They swoop in and neutralize those pesky carcinogens and calm the inflammation fires. Foods rich in antioxidants include fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and nuts. So, the healthier your diet, the more of these superheroes you have fighting for you. And then there's fiber. Fiber is like a super cleaner that sweeps through your digestive system, keeping everything running smoothly and reducing the risk of cancers related to the digestive tract. Foods high in fiber include fruits, vegetables, beans, and whole grains. So, let's recap. Carcinogens and inflammation are the villains, contributing to cancer risk, while antioxidants and fiber are the superheroes, defending our bodies and keeping us healthy. Given this, it's clear that the foods we eat can either invite disease or promote health. To put it simply, some foods fuel our bodies while others fuel diseases like cancer. Making mindful choices about what you eat can be one of the most powerful tools in your arsenal to reduce your cancer risk. So choose wisely, your health depends on it. Now that we understand the science, let's identify the foods that are most likely to increase our risk of cancer. One of the biggest culprits is processed meats. These include foods like bacon, sausages, hot dogs, and deli meats. Processed meats have been preserved by smoking, curing, salting, or adding preservatives. Studies show that these methods can lead to the formation of potentially cancer-causing chemicals. The World Health Organization has classified processed meats as Group 1 carcinogens, meaning there's strong evidence they can cause cancer. Next up, sugary drinks. These beverages are loaded with added sugars which can lead to obesity. And obesity is a significant risk factor for several types of cancer, including breast, colon, endometrial, kidney, and esophageal cancers. What's more, sugary drinks can cause spikes in blood sugar and insulin levels, which have been linked to an increased risk of certain types of cancer. Then we have trans fats. These are a type of fat that's been altered to extend its shelf life. They're often found in fried foods, baked goods, and snack foods. Trans fats can increase levels of bad LDL cholesterol, decrease good HDL cholesterol, and promote inflammation, all of which can increase the risk of cancer. Alcohol is another one to watch out for. While moderate drinking may have some health benefits, excessive consumption is a major risk factor for several types of cancer, including mouth, throat, esophagus, liver, and breast cancer. Finally, let's talk about certain types of cooking methods. Grilling or barbecuing meats at high temperatures can cause the formation of harmful chemicals that may increase cancer risk. These foods may taste good, but their potential impact on our health is far from appetizing. It's important to remember that eating these foods occasionally won't necessarily cause cancer, but regularly consuming them could increase your risk. Making healthier food choices and reducing the consumption of these risk-increasing foods can significantly lower your chances of developing cancer. 
This doesn't mean you have to eliminate these foods completely, but being mindful about your consumption can make a world of difference. These foods may taste good, but their potential impact on our health is far from appetizing. So, what can we do to reduce our risk? Well, it's all about making healthier choices. It's about embracing the rainbow of fruits and vegetables available to us, each with their unique blend of nutrients and antioxidants, all fighting in your corner against disease. The goal isn't to completely eliminate your favorite foods, but rather to reduce processed foods as much as possible. These often contain high levels of salt, sugar, and unhealthy fats, which can contribute to an increased risk of cancer. And let's not forget portion control. It's not just about what you eat, but how much you eat. Overeating, even of healthy foods, can lead to weight gain and increase your risk of various health issues. So start small, maybe swap out a snack for a piece of fruit or add an extra serving of vegetables to your dinner plate. It's these small changes that can add up to a big difference in your health. Remember, every food choice is an opportunity to move towards health. Ultimately, the power to protect your health lies in your hands. We've explored the link between diet and cancer, and now it's up to you to harness this knowledge. It's not about fear or drastic changes overnight, but about making informed decisions each day. Remember, every meal is an opportunity, an opportunity to nourish your body, to choose foods that support your well-being, and to reduce your risk of disease. It's about understanding that the ingredients we consume directly impact our health, for better or worse. Knowledge is power, and you are now armed with the information needed to make healthier choices. It's not about perfection but progress. Small changes can lead to big results. So let's embrace this journey together, one bite at a time. It's time to take control of your health. Make the switch to healthier food choices today. Your body will thank you.